in exercise 4 in tutorial 6 we need to use the normal distribution to work out what proportion of insect respiration rates are greater than 500, less than 450, or between those two values. So first thing we need to do is specify the situation we're working with. So what we have is a situation where the mean is 480 and the standard deviation is 50 in the population itself. With that information we can use this equation here to transform any value into a value on the standard normal distribution and then use our statistical tables to find out what proportion is in that particular region. So here I put 500 into the equation and that gives me a value of 0 0.40 which I can refer to the tables of the standard normal distribution. So 0 0.40 I'm going to the 0.4 row the zero column and that gives me a value of 0.3446 and we can visualize that here we're looking at that part of the curve which is up here. Moving on to the second question and inserting the value 450 into the equation we get a value of minus 0.6 over to the table and standard normal distribution and here we need the 0.6 row again the zero column now, the value we're interested in is negative 0.6, but the normal distribution is symmetric, so we can use positive 0.6. That gives us a value of 0.2743. So we have 0.2743 of the population is below that rate of 450. And that's the part of the curve in here. So we've got 34.5% greater than 500, 27.4% below the proportion that lies between those two values is that proportion there. And we can simply work that out by subtracting those two values from 1.0. So 1 minus 0.3446 and 0.2743 gives us 0.3811. So roughly 38% of the distribution or 38% of the insect respiration rates are in there.